Good afternoon here guys. We're out here in Denton, North Carolina, doing a little review of some brush cutters. Uh, we've got three different options. We offer several different options, but these are our three most popular. We're gonna talk about the differences and the features. With each of these, we're not gonna take the time to go through the size and the flow for each one. We can always go to our website, ironcraftusa.com, and look at the different sizes specifications. We will touch a little bit on the motors. I've got uh, Barrett Bloodsoe here with me. We're gonna ask him a few questions. Barrett, I think this is your newest, latest, and greatest invention, right? It is. And what is this one called? This is called the Tree Reaper. The Tree Reaper, okay, yes, that sounds dangerous, man. Yeah, it is, if you're a tree anyway. <laughs> well, that's great. So I, I see a few things on this one that are different from the other ones. Uh, kind of walk me through this. I mean, you know, we've been out here for a few days now running these things all over different applications. And one thing that I know just being in the business is you're gonna break stuff. And I really liked uh, some of the, the, the maintenance features on this particular item that uh, you guys have built into it. Can you tell me a little bit about that? And Absolutely, so the modularity of this design is actually what sets it apart uh, from our previous lines of cutters. With the previous designs, you'd, anytime you damage a component in the blade holder, you'd have to drop the whole blade holder, which is pretty difficult to do out in the field. Yeah. So what we've done in this one is we've actually provided access holes to where if you ding up your molting teeth or you know the blade itself, you can get down, get a hold of those bolts and nuts, drop them out, replace the components without having to drop the blade holder. What about this grate? If you, you guys, it looks like you always have had grates on the front of your machines. This looks like maybe a standard option now? This is standard on the Tree Reaper here, and it's even got, you know, the, the signature logo of the Tree Reaper here, which is kind Look of uh, Some good special stuff. to this product, which, like you said, inspires fear in the hearts of trees everywhere. <laughs> I know the trees are getting out of my way, that's for sure. <laughs> Okay, so we're not going to talk about flows and stuff, but I am going to ask you, this is a big product. You need a pretty large size machine. Do you have to have high flow for this particular machine? Uh, we do offer a option of this cutter that you do not have to have high flow. Okay. Uh, do not have to have a case drain. For okay. this specific orientation, you do have to have case drain, but not actually high flow. So I can run this on the standard flow, like a larger standard flow machine. It's got good horsepower and I'll still be happy with it. Yes, sir. That's pretty impressive. 78 inch cut really a, a, a beast of a machine. Let's talk a little bit about the motor here. What's going on with this motor? Is this one different or are they all the same? They are They are different. Uh, okay. So this is a Parker Ben Axis piston motor. Okay. Uh, it provides a, a lot of power, uh, a lot of, lot of functionality in a pretty compact case. Okay, all right, great. And, and so kind of the theme continues. Made in the USA, Parker components, Parker hoses, high quality, high durability. I bet you this one's got AR400 steel on it too, doesn't it? It has the option, uh, if it has mulching teeth installed, the blade holder is out of AR400. If it is not, it is a grade 50. Okay. And it does have the option to have the AR400 though, even with a non-mulching tooth blade holder. All right, so if it's a mulching tooth, it'll have a T at the end of the name, is that right? That is correct. That's how sir. we can tell the difference without flipping it up. Yes, sir. So that is, what is that like so you can come down on top of a stump or some debris or so that is for vertically mulching trees as uh, well as any you know fallen material come down on it and mulch it up vertically mulching trees you sound like a marketing guy i like that <laughs> it has ar400 dual bevel blades okay. so that you know once you do wear down one side of your blade you can swap your h valve and uh, spin it the other direction and cut off the other side of the blade. Okay, so all of these have H valves, so that seems like a feature that's gonna be on every single uh, one of these, is that right? That is, yes sir, that is a common feature across all of these cutters. Uh, it is a safety to prevent running flow into the motor the opposite direction while it's spinning up. Just provides a little safety for the, the shaft of the motor as well as the shaft of the gearbox. Okay, so technically it can go either direction, no problem but this just keeps it from when you're going in one direction, you won't accidentally uh, push the flow the other way while it's in motion. That's correct. It, it, it will uh, send it through the H5 and back to the machine. So it actually bypasses the motor altogether if is you that, try to swap it. So is that pretty common in the industry or is that something that Ironcraft is doing exclusively? That's something that Ironcraft does as a standard. As a standard? Yes, okay, sir. Okay, so other people may have it as an option, but we have it as standard across all three of these. That's, that's correct, sir. That's fantastic. All right, so let's walk over to this other one. This is a severe duty. All right, Tree Reaper, really dangerous for trees, severe. We're gonna take maybe a smaller cut out of the tree or a little less fear. So 
The Severe is actually the big brother to the Tree Reaper. Oh. It is a, a heavier built version. As you can see, they look cos cosmetically very similar. The design is, is truly almost identical other than thickening up components, uh, help putting in some additional bracing. Uh, we upped the motor size, we upped the blade holder uh, and blade size. You know what, now that I'm looking at it, just how these fittings are attached here in the back. I mean, these are, uh, this is some high pressure, some high flow. This is a high flow unit? Uh, we offer this in both high flow and low flow. This okay. one in particular is a high flow. Okay, all right, great. This is a good looking unit. I like it. This one looks like it has all the same features as far as changeability and maintenance ability in the field. That is correct. Uh, everything's pretty much just upscaled. More mulching teeth, bigger nuts and bolts holding the blades on, thicker blades. Those are 5 8 AR400. These are 3 quarter AR400. Okay, okay. So again here, uh, very similar, but you can notice some differences. This one is boxed out, this one is open. You were telling me a little bit about why that, the, the reasons for that a minute ago? Yes, sir. So basically this one is solid weld across the channels. Um, so we do put a little bit more time and uh, in the weld process, you know, just to make sure this thing is built uh, to the standard of which we desire. That one, we try to keep it modular, keep it, uh, you know, producing on a, on a high rate. One neat feature on the, the Sphere as well as the Tree Reaper is these replaceable bolt-on skid shoes. These are made out of AR400, so they are ground engaging, very durable, uh, and increase the longevity of the life of the cutter. This is like the top dog, if you will. This is a very cost-effective, very high-quality uh, little brother. Yes, right? sir, that's okay. correct. And then we've got a third option over here. Now this is the Extreme. This is the Extreme Brush Cutter. If All right. those two are brothers, this one is the grandpa. <laughs> this one has been around for a long time. Uh, tried and true design. It is lacking some of the modularity uh, as well as the, that cosmetic sleek edge, edgy look, but been in the market for a long time. Tried and true. Okay, so good lower cost option. Does what a lot of people needed to do. This is still commercial grade though, right? Absolutely, absolutely. Okay. Uh, one difference uh, significantly other than the modularity is that this comes with just a regular uh, fluid gear piston motor and not one of the Parker Ben Axis pistons. Okay, all right, that's a big upgrade, okay. Uh, and again, with this one, you don't have to have high flow. It's gonna run better on high flow. You don't have to have a trait case drain. Uh, yes, sir. So we, we offer this with different motor options. So you do not have to have a case drain on this one. If you are, if you do have the capabilities of case drain, we have high flow and low flow options. Well, guys, there you go. Uh, straight from Denton, North Carolina, talking about the three most common uh, brush mulchers that we've got. They're built in the USA, built right here in uh, Denton, North Carolina with Parker hoses and high quality products. Lots of AR400 steel. So if you want one, go on our website at ironcraftusa.com. You can find the dealer locator, download a brochure, download specs, and uh, call us if you have any questions. Thanks a lot.